It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and we again are going with all highs. Our first high is an update on our buddy Captain Tom as he celebrated his 100th birthday this week in style. You'll remember last week we told you about Captain Tom Moore, the British World War II veteran who began a humble effort to raise 1,000 pounds, or about 12 pounds hundred dollars for Great Britain's health care workers by walking 100 laps around his garden in honor of his 100th birthday. The effort made him an international star and as of this morning Captain Tom has raised more than 41 million dollars for the National Health Service and earned a Guinness World Record probably just for being awesome. On Thursday Captain Tom officially turned 100 years old and the UK threw him a party. He was celebrated with a number of cakes. There were signs and murals painted across Britain, and he received more than 150,000 birthday cards from around the world, all set up in an impressive display at his grandson's school. Captain Tom even received a card from Queen Elizabeth herself. She doesn't just dish those babies out. Captain Tom also received an honorary military promotion to Colonel in recognition of his extraordinary fundraising efforts. He was honored with a flyover as well from the Royal Air Force on the morning of his birthday. Now that, my friends, is a party. Happy birthday, Captain Tom. Our next tie goes to a big man doing big things this year from the trenches of the NFL to the front lines of the fight against coronavirus. Laurent Duvernay Tardif is a six foot five inch, 320 pound starting guard for the Kansas City Chiefs. On February 2nd, three months ago yesterday, he and his teammates won the Chiefs first Super Bowl title in 50 years. In addition to being excellent in pass protection, Laurent also happens to be the first medical school graduate ever to play in the NFL. In 2018, he earned his Doctor of Medicine from McGill University in Montreal. When Laurent heard about the spread of coronavirus while he was on vacation after the Super Bowl, the big fella knew he had to get home to help. He was placed into service in a long-term care facility about an hour from his hometown of Montreal. He's working in a nursing role since he has not yet finished his residency. Of course, there are risks, but at the end of the day, I think you got to look at, you know, from a community standpoint, having you know, a young, fit individual working in at risk and in, in an at risk environment with the best protective gear possible. I think it's the the best way to to fight this thing, and that's why I, I want to contribute. Laurent says the Chiefs have been proud to support his efforts to put on the scrubs and to pitch in back home. That's a big guy with a big future after football. Way to go, big man. Our final high this week goes to a moment many of us can relate to these days as we're doing our best to work from home. Sometimes that means kids screaming in the background of a Zoom meeting or your dog hopping on your lap when you're doing the weather on live television. The maps aren't going to move because he just whacked the, the computer with his head. So let me let me just verbalize the forecast, okay? That wasn't a, that wasn't very smart. Saturday, probably cloudy, turning more humid, uh, with temperatures again in the in the mid 80s. And uh, didn't mean to keep you up. Next time, buddy, we're going to eat after this. So that's the forecast. <laughs> <laughs> that is Paul Delegato, chief meteorologist at Fox 13 Tampa Bay in Florida, and his very good dog, Brody, who became an Internet hero this week when this clip went viral. Brody just wanted a snack, and as you can see there, looking out the window, a good look at Craig, the cameraman who was just outside. Brody, you are a very good boy.